positions that you hold your sword in sword play and that you you know just get your it's basically ready positions but not that's where that's where it starts to kind of go off the rails they're not just ready positions right people will say we'll look at a guard say up here right and they'll say well you're open down here and blah, 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 blah. yes that's totally true right um, but we, it's, it's different than, than kind of barehanded fighting, right? Where we're kind of in control of everything. We're now kind of moving a foreign object through space, right? So we have to control this, right? We have to be able to swing it hard enough that we can do damage or get to the target before the other person does some, something about it. And we have to stop it and we have to make sure that we don't go off it so that they can come on here and yada, yada, yada. Okay, so what we do is we kind of constrain our motions into guards, okay? I'm going to split these guards up into three kind of categories, and these correspond to, in the Shicho, we, have, we basically have three guards, okay? So in Shicho, we, we have high guard, middle guard, and low guard, right? Now that's the basics of guards right there. You just have high, middle, and low, so these are your, your basic uh, uh, levels. Okay. Now each of those is going to have specific characteristics to it, things that you can do from them, things that you won't be able to do very well from them, and that's kind of what we're going into. Um, we're also going to talk about stance. Okay. Um, when we're here with, if, if you haven't been following along with some of the videos, you're going to have to know your zones. We're going to be coming up we're going to be using zone numbers, so I'll go through that really quickly, okay, for anybody who doesn't know what, the, what those are, right? Zone 1 is your head, zone 2 is your weapon arm, zone 3 is your non-weapon arm, zone 4 is your body, zone 5 is your dominant leg, zone 6 is the remaining leg, okay? So we're going to split the body into four sections, okay, basically corresponding with those with, with uh, two, three, five, and six, okay? So we have three sections here, right here in the middle, okay? And these are our doors. So as we are moving through, and actually, if you could come up here and uh, just help me demonstrate a little bit. Yes, all right. There we go. Okay, so <clears throat> when, when we're here, we're facing off to each other, we, we are, we're looking at tr trying to get into the other opponent, right? Or in, in, into our opponent's space to, to hit a target, one of those target zones, okay? And for that, we have doors, okay? So if I'm standing, and we're like we're standing, with a dominant foot forward, we're down here like this, and we have our weapon in front of us. We call this the big door is closed, okay? So the big door is essentially this side of your body, okay? Six and three, okay? That means, that if he comes in towards this, to this side, right, it's very easy for me to, to uh, do something with it. It's not open. It's, it's, you know, it's, it's closed. Okay. Okay. Now, as we move our swords around, notice he comes in this way, right? I have to move my sword over here. That opens up this side, right? So if I just do this, he comes in, and I go here and I just kind of swat at the incoming strike, now, where does he gonna come? He's gonna come around to the other side, okay? So I stop that from happening by using guards, okay? So we have, obviously, middle guard right here, and I can go back and forth. So if he comes into this side here, the simplest way is when he comes around to the other side is just to move it over to the side that way, okay? But there's other things that I can do. And we'll go into, obviously, the specifics. This is just an overview, right? If I'm here, I go into another middle guard. He comes over this way. And I come in here. Now when he goes to the other side, I can do something else, which will give me another type of attack or something like that. So these guards will enable us to go into different strikes, different 
carries, that kind of thing. So again, the same strike over to here, right? I come on over there, he comes over to this side. Now if I go up into a high guard here, that's going to change what I can do here, right? It might open me up to the lower side, but probably not. He's probably going to try to disengage here, right? Which is going to either get me to this, right? Or I'm going to come around for, for the temple strike, right? Does that make sense? Okay. So basically what we're doing is we're taking, we're not just going to kind of randomly swing at things, right? If I go from this guard here into this guard there, that brings me to a certain thing. Same strike, right? Right here. Now I've got that particular thing. I have to wait for what he what, what he's going to do. He might not do what, he might not come over to here. Maybe he goes down, right? And so I have to move over to the side, okay? But again, if I'm kind of in the middle somewhere, he can capitalize on that and come around here and not give me a chance to even parry that. You see, because now it's my arm here. Now, of course, you know, we're using lightsabers, so we can't touch the blade. So, you know, when we're using steel, right, you can do a lot more, and we'll go into, you know, kind of the differences there, okay? So, uh, there you go. Basic overview on what a guard is, okay? So, again, like I said, we've got three basic types, okay? We've also got guards with the big door open, like that, with the small door open, okay? And those are gonna offer different types of opportunities to your opponent, and thus, you know, different opportunities for you, right? <clears throat> um, then we also have this. I can have my, my, uh, Laid forward facing like this, okay, which is one which is one way, or I can have it backward facing, like this, okay. And if we go here, so, okay. So these are two different different types of things. So I can be here in middle guard, right? But there's also a kind of an extended here, what a lot of people call long point, okay, to keep it out there. So having your 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 sword back like this enables you to do. What more? Huh? More range of motion for a strike coming in. Well, you're going to be able to cut more, right? Because you can move in into the strike. With here, if we're if 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 I'm here, he's like this. He can cut much easier, right? Okay. Whereas I have to here and then do these do you know kind of little motions like that. Right? So I'm going to be using this much more here. Right? Also notice he's trying to come in. So as he's coming here, when he's got his thing back like that, right? He, he comes in. Obviously he's going to probably try to continue that. But notice he's in a forward facing guard now. Okay? So if I come over here and I'm now in a backward facing one, that puts me in a position to do that. The same thing with him. I push him back over here like this. Now he's in a position to come around, right? Or even not even do that, just go to the flank. Like that. You see? Okay, so the so the whole idea of, of, of these guards are going to be to give us opportunities and to keep us from just randomly doing stuff. Because we don't like to randomly just throw our weapon around. Okay, we don't want to swing and kind of come off, off the line real, real far. So, so there's that. Now every level, we'll kind of go through this, has here, like forward facing, backward facing. Okay, these are all high guards up here. Okay, so when I have my sword up here, okay. So when I have a forward-facing guard, that has certain dynamics, right? When I have a backward-facing guard, that has other dynamics, right? You can, I mean, you can kind of try to box them up to say that this is more defensive because this is keeping somebody away from you more, but that's not necessarily true. It all depends on the reaction of the person, right? 
what, what's going to entreat him. But when you hold, when you hold a backward-facing guard, this is going to get people to come in closer to you. It's also going to require you to get in closer to them. Right? So these are the kind of, you know, uh, dynamics that we're talking about.